Let's find the value of x given that x to the 7 plus x to the 5 plus x to the 3 all over x to the 6 plus x to the 5 plus x to the 4 is equal to 81 over 27. Well, our first step will be for us to simplify. So this is x to the 7 is same as 3 plus 4. Why? Because the lowest power here is 3, so I just have to add 4. Plus, I'll do the same thing here. So this becomes x to the 5 is same as 3 plus 2 plus x to the 3. All over. Now the denominator, x to the 6. So we have x to the 6 is same as 4 plus 2. Raising, the lowest power here is 4. So we use 4 plus 2 plus x to the 5 is same as 4 plus 1 and then plus x to the 4 is equal to 81 divided by 27 is 3. So now this becomes x to the 3 times x to the 4 according to the law of indices plus we do the same here x to the 3 times x to the 2 plus x to the 3 all over now the denominator the same thing x to the 4 times x to the 2 plus x to the 4 times x to the 1 plus x to the 4 equal to 3. Now our next step will be for us to factorize. You notice that on the numerator x to the 3 is common. So we can factor out x to the 3 open brackets now x to the 3 times x to the 4 divided by x to the 3 we have x to the 4 plus now x to the 3 times x to the 2 divided by x to the 3 we have x to the 2 plus x to the 3 divided by x to the 3 is 1 all over now the denominator you notice that x to the 4 is common so we have to factor out x to the 4, open bracket, x to the 4 times x to the 2 divided by x to the 4, we have x to the 2 plus x to the 4 times x to the 1 divided by x to the 4, we have x to the 1. Well, x to the 1 is same as x plus x to the 4 divided by x to the 4 is 1. And this is equal to 3. Now let's divide. So x to the 3 here is 1. x to the 3 here is x. Now 1 times this expression gives you the same expression. x to the 4 plus x squared plus 1. All over the denominator. We have x times x squared plus x plus 1. And this is equal to 3. This expression at the top is very close to this perfect squared. x squared plus 1 or squared which is equal to x to the fourth plus 2x squared plus 1. Notice that this is 2x squared. Why this is 1x squared? So the only difference is x squared. So I just have to remove x squared from both sides in order to make them the same. Now notice that this becomes x squared plus 1 or squared minus x squared equal to why this becomes x to the fourth. 2x squared minus x squared is x squared plus 1. So we notice that this expression is same as this so I'm going to be writing this in place of this so we have x squared plus 1 or squared minus x squared all over 
the denominator we have x times x squared plus x plus 1 and this is equal to 3 now notice that what we have on the numerator is an expression in difference of two squares and expressions in difference of two squared can be expressed as for example when I have a squared minus b squared this is same as a plus b times a minus b so we can say that this x squared plus 1 is our a why this x is our b so this is a plus b which means x squared plus 1 our a plus our b is x times a minus b x squared plus 1 is our a minus b our b is x all over now the denominator we have x times x squared plus x plus 1 and this is equal to 3 now notice that this can cancel out this so that we have x squared plus 1 minus x all over x to be equal to 3 now we can get rid of this x by multiplying both sides by x so I'll multiply the left hand side by x I'll also multiply the right hand side by x now notice that this x can cancel out this x leaving behind x squared plus 1 minus x to be equal to 3 times x is 3x now let's move this 3x to the left hand side so we have x squared plus 1 minus x and as 3x crosses to the left it becomes minus 3x and this is now equal to 0 now simplifying further we have x squared plus 1 negative x negative 3x is negative 4x to be equal to 0 so we have a nice quadratic equation now let's rearrange this quadratic equation so this is x squared minus 4x and then plus 1 equal to 0 I'm going to be using the completed square method to solve this since the coefficient of x is an even number so I'll move this one to the right hand side so we have x squared minus 4x to be equal to as 1 crosses to the right it becomes negative 1 so I'll take this negative 4 negative 4 divide by 2 and I'll square the result so this will result to negative 4 divided by 2 is negative 2 to the power of 2 now I'm going to be adding this to both sides of the equation so this is x squared minus 4x I'll add plus minus 2 squared equal to this is minus 1 plus minus 2 squared that is it now simplifying further we have x squared minus 4x plus minus 2 squared to be equal to minus 1 now negative 2 squared is plus 4 now notice that the left hand side is a perfect squared which can be written as x minus 2 or raised to the 2 and this is equal to minus 1 plus 4 is 3 now to get rid of this square we have to take the square root of both sides so I'll take the square root of x minus 2 all squared equal to plus or minus the square root of 3 now see that this square root goes with this square leaving behind x minus 2 to be equal to plus or minus the square root of 3 now we can move this negative 2 to the right hand side so that we have x to be equal to as negative 2 crosses to the right it becomes positive 2 plus or minus the square root of 3 so there are actually two values of x from here which are x 
equal to 2 plus the square root of 3 or x equal to 2 minus the square root of 3. Well, feel free to share your ideas in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed this video and have learned something from this video, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't, turn on the notification bell so you don't miss my upcoming videos. And like I always say, until next time, take care.